Hi everybody, David Dilling here from Pinecker01. Now hopefully you've already saw the first video where I went over the why a water vortexer. You know, I went into great detail. I'll put a link to the video up above and down below in the description about what's so important about energized, activated water and the motion of the vortex involved in this whole process. It's very interesting, at least to me, and I'm sure, you know, if you're this far, you'll probably find that video very interesting as well. In today's video, we're going to go deeper into the five power bundle itself. That is a water bottle, which comes with an aerator, which, by the way, this is the right way to put it in, rubber in the neck. I did it wrong in some of the footage. Hopefully, I'll correct all that. If not, you now know the right way. Uh, the magnetic stirrer and water bottle bundle with the gems are included. Sorry, the crystals. They're called the Golden Triangle Healing Crystals. I cover that in the other video as well. Uh, there's also a magnet in here, which is uh, coated so it's safe to be in the water. And of course, what we first did is clean this model, and that's where we'll pick up the video from there. So let's go check it out. Let's make some vortex. Let's make some vortex water. Okay, so what we're going to do now is clean the units. We have the, the gems in here. And by the way, these are my other five power units. This is for the pH levels, getting the pH levels right. And it's a water filter as well. And this is the uh, H2 infuser or generator. It'll also put hydrogen in the water. And I'm going to use that uh, with this water. I'll show that later though. The washer golden triangle healing crystals as well. The golden triangle of crystals which I explained the other video uh, in more detail. We're going to try them out too. Make sure you definitely wash those. We're putting them in your water that you will be ingesting. And the magnet, which will go into the water unit to activate the magnetic, uh, you know, uh, force, as it were. We're just going to give that a little wash. A little scrub down. Okay. So we'll get those dried off here in a second and get into the business of actually spinning up some energized water okay so now we're going to use the five power ph uh, generator and water filter to fill up the the bottle and you just turn that on your faucet i've already installed this i'll put a video up top and down in the description how that works you just flip on your little I'll thing there water level two. your valve uh, on off and then you have the water the ph works like the lower this uh, the stream of water the higher the ph I wouldn't drink that, it's for cleaning. <laughs> and you can also click different things here for like uh, different options. Let's now leave it at that. I'm gonna, I washed out the bottle first. I swirled it out. Of course it's already been cleaned, so it's ready to go. Now we're just gonna fill it up. Alkaline water level two. Well, it gets kind of heavy. Gotta make sure you have a good, good grip on it. I'm gonna put it up to about there, right, right above the above logo there. That should be good. Two. Okay. Now, now we'll let, let this, uh, dry off for putting it onto the magnetic stir itself. One tip I can feel already, be careful holding it just here because it does, it is slippery, slippery when wet, right? <laughs> so I would recommend holding it from below and by the neck here. Yeah. Okay. Let's go over the table and see how it works. So it's plugged in now to the power. It has a uh, charger back there. You just, you just put it in there. There's no real on off. I just keep it on minimum right now. I believe if you put the magnet on there. Yeah. Oh, you feel the force. Yeah. Even minimum, you feel a, a real magnetic force there. So uh, here we have the the minimum maximum uh, bars. We got to get these three elements have to go into the actual bottle of water now. So what we need to do is do it very carefully. Now the the little magnet itself is not that big of a deal. You just plop that in there. However, these are heftier. So I think the way to do that is with a spoon or some other device. So I got a little spoon here. I'm gonna lift the water up slightly to the side and I'm gonna try to place that down in there like that. And then let her rip. And here they're pretty they're pretty solid, so I wanna be a little bit careful on that one, right? So the way I'm doing that, I'm putting it in, keeping it the side as long as possible, and then let her rip when it gets down lower. Last one. Like I said before, I don't have much experience with 
crystals in and of themselves, although I do love rocks and crystals and minerals and all that stuff. So I'd be very curious. Now the magnets down there, see the magnet down there, you see the, the, uh, the crystals, right? Now what we're going to do, we're just going to place it onto the tanner. You feel, and you see a little bit of action there, right? Now we're going to turn this up. From minimum, so I'm, I'll, I'll I'll take that back. It there is a power here on the device. It says minimum, maybe it should say off and then minimum. But minimum uh, right here, seeing this camera better, that is off. When it's a minimum, it's actually off. When you click it up once, you actually foot feel it and hear it click. And look at that, we get spinning action. Okay, now that we have the the water in the bottle, the crystals in the bottle, the magnetic um, device to act as a rabbit to cause the vortex motion and the magnetic field to work. And now we're going to put the aerator on. It's important when you put the aerator on, you don't do it like I had it in some of the clips like this, but you do it like this. The rubber part down. So that's pretty, pretty clear. So once again, just rubber part down, fits snug like a bug in the rug. There we go. And now we can turn on the unit. And the bottom of the device has four very good, um, I forget what they call them, but they're like cushions that keep it like almost suction cups so it doesn't move around, doesn't vibrate on glass or on my counter top. So now when we, when we turn this on here, you'll hear it. It starts to spin. Now, obviously, you don't have a vortex yet, so we got to we got to pump up the volume a bit. Now I'm about half. You start to see it. There we go, just like a tornado forms. And this is what we're after: a vortex motion. Which is what Victor and all the other people, the water experts say, helps vitalize water. Actually, even helps to cleanse the water in a certain way. So now we're going to pump it up a bit more. Boy, that's really neat. Look how the motion just sort of goes around up top. Now I'm going to I'm going to turn it down for a second. Now they say that to get really truly vitalized, energized water, which can be tested, you have to let this go. And I turn it down just so I can heal me over the volume. This process should go for about seven minutes. Could it go for a little longer? Sure, why not? I mean, a stream is running a, a brook through the the Alps are through the mountain. Look at that one little bubble just kind of hangs right below the vortex. Isn't that neat? Anyway, um, so seven minutes will give you vitalized, energized water. Now what I'm going to do with this water afterwards, I'm going to put it through the other five power unit I have, the hydrogen water infuser or generator. So this unit right here, I will put the water in that's been first energized We'll put in here, we'll diffuse, uh, sorry, we'll infuse hydrogen into the water. That's about a five minute cycle. You can do two cycles, three cycles if you like. The more hydrogen, really, the better. Hydrogen is, that's the beauty of the research I've done with hydrogen. It's, it's harmless. It goes in, it goes, it's the smallest element on Earth. So obviously, H2O already includes some hydrogen, the H. However, not enough, not like we, we should have had, like, not like there was uh, in the past you know, uh, thousands of years ago. So this will help get the water uh, infused with hydrogen, which helps with many, many potential uh, health benefits. So uh, other videos on that are online. Check them out. But now what we're going to do, we're going to let this, let this energize for seven minutes on full, full power here. I just want to cut in here real quick. The sound, I use a sort of program to take out the background noise. It makes me sound a little bit better. 
but it takes away the sound of the of the device. So here's how the device really sounds. I won't go full because if you go full, what happens sometimes is if you don't have this balanced in the right in the middle, it'll it'll shoot out. But look at that. Look at that. Uh, the water bubbling up, getting aerated. And next, you know, we'll get it infused with hydrogen. Just amazing, isn't it? All right. Be back in seven minutes. We got a glass. It's run now for more than seven minutes. Let's slow her down here. There we go. Now it's done. Fully energized, vitalized water right here. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take our hydrogen water generator here. Just flow right into the uh, into your glass. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. First, we'll try a glass without being hydrogenated. Right? And then we'll put one where we put the hydrogen-infused gas into it. Or hydrogen. Simple. Fill it up to the brim. You want... Now this unit is sold separately than the bundle, just to make that clear. I just like to show this because it's part of my good water policy. It might, a little, little bit of water might come out because it's pretty full, but that's okay. You want to put that on tightly. And you just want to start the process right here by pushing this button. And there we go. It's generating hydrogen. So we'll let that go for... Uh, about five minutes it takes. It stops automatically at the colors. It'll beep and you know it's done. And we'll try that water. But in the meantime, let's first try this water. So how does this water taste? Well, that's a good question. Let's see. Yeah, it's good and smooth. What's nice, I had a coffee before I started and it, it just, it's a nice... Uh, it's like cleans the palate and feels really uh, velvety is a way to say it. I've drinking plenty of spring water right from the, you know, stream as it were, right from the source. And that does have a unique flavor. Good spring water. It's hard to find good water on earth nowadays because of all the pollution and different problems we have. But nonetheless, uh, this is very tasty. Now, whether this is a pseudo uh, placebo, how do you call that placebo effect? Or I don't know. But I like it. I'm thankful for the water. That's part of my uh, uh, being, you know, saying thank you to God for this water. And whatever you do, I just recommend you be thankful. Yeah, yeah, very good. All right, now we'll wait for the hydrogen unit to get done. Another video on the five power hydrogen unit. Put it down below. All right, so the hydrogen has been infused in the water. Now we can take the uh, hydrogen opener up here. The hydrogen infused water, that is, and pour it in. Three last drop. Look at the look at the air aid. Look at the bubbles in there. Isn't that just amazing? So you're supposed to drink it fast. So I'm gonna start taking a sip. Every second, hydrogen escapes. Hydrogen goes down in, and it escapes out of your body. 
through all the different pores and things. Helps break up breakage, uh, blockages and all kind of other great things. So, how does it taste? Well, let's try it out. Yeah, it tastes good. It tastes, of course, similar to what I just had, but there there is more of a... Yeah, I don't want to say bubbly because it's not bubbly, but there's something more... Uh, yeah, vibrant, I guess is what you could say. But it tastes good. One guy on one of my videos with the hydrogen said, you're supposed to gulp it down like you're dying of thirst. Just gulp it down because that way the hydrogen doesn't escape. I like to enjoy it a bit more. The tests have shown it takes about 25 to 30 minutes for it to dissipate out of the water, but every minute hydrogen is, is escaping. Some people inhale it, special inhalers they have. Delicious. So I'm loving it already. Yeah, I'll put information on the 5 Power Bundle down below, but this is really, really neat. I just love the way the device works. Well, thank you, everybody, for watching. That is the 5 Power Water Vortexer, the water bottle and magnetic stirrer bundle with the crystals, and it's really, really neat. Really, really, I think it tastes better to me. But once again, it could be a placebo effect, so in the next video, we're going to cover, actually, can we measure if the water can energize, yes or no? So that'll be really interesting. So stay tuned for that one. Give this one the thumbs up if you made it this far, please. Like, share with your family and friends. Good water is good business, meaning it's good for all of us. So yeah, check it out. The five power device is in the link. And uh, if you need more information, just leave a comment below. And I've checked out other devices as well on my channel. And I have a lot of other stuff on my channel, but a lot of nature stuff and uh, soccer and sports. But nonetheless, I hope you enjoy it. David from Pineacre01, wishing you a great day. Take care.